Hello friends, this video on continuity and differentiability part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 3. So one thing is clear is the continuity is defined at a point. Correct? I told the continuity and discontinuity is defined at the point. So let's take some examples to clarify our concept. So the question says we have a graph and f is equal to 3 for x is less than 0, less than or equal to 0 and x is equal to 4 for x is greater than 0. So we have this graph, x is less than or equal to 0, we have value 1, 2, 3. So we have the graph like this, this guy is 3. So this point is because for 0, please note it is less than equal to 0 and this is greater than 0. So for less than equal to 0 that means equal to 0 is also part of this. So we will take from here and we will take this point greater than equal to 0. So that means at 0 this guy is not part so I will create a hollow hole here and this is a solid hole. So hollow hole means this is not included. So x is equal to 0, I will say y is equal to 3, not 4, correct? When it is hollow, that means you have to exclude this. When it is solid, that means you have to include this. So this is my graph actually for this. Now we have to find whether it is continuous or not. At this guy, x is equal to 0 because we can see just by looking at the graph, I can tell that it is discontinuous function y because to create this graph, I have left my pen. Just if you have if you have the graph, draw the graph, and by looking at the graph, you can tell whether the function is continuous or discontinuous. But mathematically, also, if you want, we can prove, we can find the limit. I'll show you how. The rule says that limit of fx extends to c. Here c is our zero because we are talking about the continuity at point zero, because at zero we are dicey this should be equal to f of 0 by, because c is replaced by 0. So the first thing is let's find the limit exists or not for this guy. So left hand limit is nothing but limit x tends to 0 minus of fx. That is nothing but a number very very less than 0 that does you can say nothing but f of minus 0 0.0001 correct because left hand limit I am approaching 0 from the left hand side so number that is not 0 but just on the left hand side of 0 that is 0 0.001 for this value for this value what I get this is nothing but 3 so my left hand limit is 3 now let me find the right hand limit. This is nothing but limit x tends to 0 plus f of x. So I am approaching this from the right hand side. So I would want number that is not 0 but a number on the right hand side of 0. Just just greater than 0. So I can take this guy as nothing but f of 0 0.00001 a number that is just greater than 0. And if you take such point, you get y as 4. So f of this is 4. So my left hand limit is not equal to right hand limit. So in this case, the limit itself doesn't exist. The limit doesn't exist. The next question was to check whether that limit value is equal to f of 0. But that is not required now. Because the limit itself doesn't exist. So we can see that this is discontinuous. Correct. In case where limit exists, the second step is we have to find the value of f, f of 0 and then we have to check whether that is equal. So we have done, I think, in the last slide where the limit existed but the number, the value was not equal to f of c. So there also it was discontinuous. So we'll take one more example. Here if you see the example is like this for x is not 
equal to 0 it is 3 1 2 3 and for x equal to 0 it is 4 so for x equal to 0 the value is 4 and for other it is 3 so it is this kind of graph correct here also looking at the graph we can tell it is discontinuous because to draw the graph I have to lift my pen but mathematically you have to find so mathematically we have to just find if the limit of x tends to c f of c is equal to f of c here c is equal to 0 because the point of contention is 0 at point at 0 x equal to 0 we have to find whether it is continuous or not so what we can do let's find first left hand limit is nothing but limit x tends to 0 negative f of x that is I am approaching the value x from a left hand side that is any number that is not 0 but just smaller than 0 so I can take this guy f of minus 0 0.0001 so if you take this guy what do you get the value 3 so if you find the value of f of minus 0.001 you will get the get a value of 3 now let's find the right hand limit that is nothing but limit x tends to 0 plus f of x so I'm approaching the guy from right hand side so any number that is greater than 0 is just greater than 0 but not equal to 0 that is I can take that value as plus 0 0 0 0 1 or zero. any number I can take just greater than 0 so if I take that number that kind of number I get y as again 3 so I, what I have seen here left hand limit is equal to right hand limit yuppie my left hand limit is equal to right hand limit. that means the limit exists so I can say that limit of x tends to 0 f of 0 has a value and that value is equal to 3 now my first step is clear that means limit existed the second step is I have to check whether that guy value is equal to f of 0 because here c is equal to 0 so let's find f of 0 f of 0 is nothing but 4 so what I can see f of 0 is 4 and the limit of f of 0 x tends to 0 f of x actually f of x is nothing but 3 this is f of x please note so you can see that both are not equal fx x tends to 0 limit is equal to 3 and f of 0 is 4 they are not equal since they are not equal I can say that they are not continuous here also you can say that 0 is point of discontinuity 0 is the point of discontinuity so what I have done in this case I saw that the limit existed but that value was not equal to f of c. So with these two examples I think you can for a given graph and for a given point please note for a given graph and for a given point you can find that whether that particular graph is continuous or discontinuous at a particular point because both examples we took was we had a graph we had a point and we wanted to find whether the graph is continuous or discontinuous at the point. Let's take one more example. Here we have to prove that the function fx 5x minus 3 is continuous at x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 5. So there are two approaches. First we can draw the graph and then we can show that at x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 5 the function is continuous that means we don't need to lift the pen or the next approach is we know that if we have fc right or f x limits x tends to c this is equal to fc then i can say that the function is continuous at point c so instead of c we'll put 0 and 5 and we'll try to evaluate so first let's see if the function is or uh, continuous at x is equal to 0 so for this what we will do first we will check if limit exists or not so what we can do is we will find left hand limit of left hand limit at f 
zero. So that is nothing but limit x tends to zero minus f of x. So you can take any value which is just less than zero. You can say minus zero point zero 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 one. Correct. This value I can take. So this will become almost five into minus zero point zero 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 one minus three. This is almost zero. So that becomes almost minus three. So the left hand limit for this function is minus three. Similarly, let's find the right hand limit at f is equal to zero. So that will be nothing but limit f x where x tends to zero plus here. Please note it is minus here. This time is plus here. So let's take any value which is just greater than zero. So I can take zero point zero 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 one. This is nothing but five into zero point zero 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 one minus three. This is almost zero. So this becomes almost minus three. So what we have seen: the left hand limit and the right hand limit are equal. That means the limit exists. So I can say that limit f x where x tends to zero exists, and that value is minus three. The next thing is we have to check whether this guy is equal to f of c. C here is zero. That is f of zero. So what is f of zero? f of zero is nothing but five into zero minus three, and that is nothing but minus three. So what we have seen, both these values are equal. Since these values are equal, I can say that limit of f x x tends to zero is equal to f of zero. Thus, I can say that the function is continuous at x is equal to zero. So with this, I can say that it, x is equal to zero. We hundred percent confirm that this function is continuous. It may be discontinuous at other points, but at x is equal to zero, this guy is continuous. Similarly, we can do it. X is equal to five. I'll not do this for you completely, but I'll just tell you the steps how to do it. So you have to first find the left hand limit of at f is equal to five. That is, limit x tends to five minus f x, and then you should find the right hand limit. So right hand limit is x tends to five plus. That is a number just greater than plus f of x. You get this value if they are equal. That means the limit exists, and then you define the value of f five. So if these values are all equal, then you can say that the function is continuous, and the answer will be yes because the function will be continuous. Why? Because it's a equation, the linear equation in terms of x. So this kind of equation is generally continuous. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.